you know this already, formatting text is not easy at all in Power BI, but if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to go from there to there with just a few steps. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is the normal card in Power BI, and this is the one that we're going to recreate. You can see that when I change, it changes the text, and this is the kind of text I would like to be able to format in Power BI. Please. <laughs> okay, so how do we do it? The first thing that you need is you go to the Get More Visuals. This is a certified visual, actually, so you should be okay. And you get Daniel Smash Patrick HTML. This is actually certified HTML visual. He is fantastic. Thank you very much for everything you do. So go and grab it. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, we're going to use the HTML visual, which means that we need to create HTML format text. So first of all, we need to learn a little bit of HTML. It's not difficult at all. And then you can just copy the text from me and then you're good to go. I will post it in the on the blog. I'll, I'll post a link below. So HTML, I'll post a link to this also. It says, this is how you create a list. Try it yourself, run, and then you have the list here. So what we want is this text. I'm going to show you. I'm going to change this. Fast forward. This is our text, and here we have a reward. Um, it doesn't look exactly like we want it, but the wonderful thing about HTML is you can customize absolutely everything. So we're going to give styles to this. The first one is I want to have the header, which is these H tags, as H2 instead of H1. And I want to have a different font family. I want to have the Chigoi, which is the Power BI font family. So. You write the style, font family, you need to escape these differences. So this is double quote and single quote, and then semicolon color. And then if you run this, you'll see that it does a, another font, another color. Beautiful. For the um, list, I want to have not the typical one. I want to have like a circle one. So this is how you do it. So I'm going to add the style type circle in there run it and you see that it changes. Then I want to change, of course, the font family and the font size. Run it, font family and font size, 12, lovely. Again, you will get this code so you can copy paste. And then I want to highlight exclusive. So to do that, I'm going to do it like this. Instead of exclusive there, I'm going to do span style, the color is going to be black, the weight of the font is going to be 700 and then exclusive. And then I'm going to run it and you can see that it, it changes, right? So then you do it for all of them. And here we have our formatted list. Beautiful. So how do you do now in Power BI? You copy this HTML stuff. And here in Power BI, I'm going to show you very quickly. So you just open it up, put the HTML code, load, and then I'll show you ways that you can do these a little bit dynamic. And if you go here to table two, you can see that our HTML code is in there. So I'm going to go a new page, put that in there, and then you just change to the HTML visual, and then it gives you the code. You see that it gets like cramped in there. You can actually go to styles and the padding and increase the padding a bit. Otherwise it gets like really, really tucked in together. This is very easy, right? Now what happens if we want to do this way, right? So we want to have it dynamically based on the text. Well, there are different ways you could do it. You could actually copy, this, copy paste the HTML code in one block like I did for each one. So you could do you could do like this. You have, this is for the loyal customer. This is for the champions. You load it. And then you have a relationship between the segments. And then you will be able to swift between. Now, the thing about this is if you want to change the text size, the color, or something else, you need to go to the table here and change it for everyone. And depending on what you're trying to do, that is going to be a huge pain. So what you can do instead is separate the actions. So I have the different bullets in here and then I create, I generate a the HTML code I'll show you. So 
so this is how it looks like, right? So I have the header and then the recommended actions title and then what each of the bullet points I put it in there and it makes it obviously a lot easier. You can even customize it further if you know that you're going to change more, but this way you have a dynamic way to create your HTML tags and you can put me there and it will work perfectly. Okay. So no more sucky text in Power BI. Use the HTML visualization until they give us something better.